So this is a continuation on my custom built uh, snapper trailer. As you can see, I'm laying underneath it. I just wanted to show you one of the cross members. This is how it arrived. It's bent. There's no screws in it. You can see the screws there. They use screws that are about two and a half inches long for something that only needs to be about an inch um, throughout the whole the whole trailer is like that. But this this piece right here, uh, this is on one of the cross members, and this is right behind the side door step. And you can see that's all twisted and bent out of shape. Never bothered to fix that. Uh, we're gonna move to the outside here. And I really wanna show you down here in the, uh, in the wheel wells where it looks like they trimmed the sheet metal with a butter knife. You can see like right here how, how the, the rail is right here on the inside can see how they trim that all the way around it's, it's just uh, real shoddy workmanship just like the rest of the trailer you can see how they trim that instead of using a nibbler or something to cut it uniform to the uh, to the edge of the uh, the frame right here the wheel well like I said it looks like they cut it with a butter knife and just hope for the best and that, that's that's right on the outside of the uh, the wheel well then you come on down here in the back again See the big buckles right here on the sides because they got the piece a little bit too long but that's okay they just keep going with it and then the handles this handles okay you can actually fit your hand behind it and work with it the way it should be this one here however this is you can't even get your fingers in there I'm going to have to bend that back into shape. Um, it, it's just a mess. It's just a mess. This is one of the first things I noticed when I was at the dealer. This screw right here is was hanging out like that. And they didn't even have a screw to replace that. I haven't I just haven't gotten to it yet. I've been fixing everything else on this damn thing. And here is a, a shot of the other side. More of the same with the trim job. You can look at how nasty that is, man. You put your hands on that, you probably get sliced all up. They don't they don't care about anything, man. They just look at that. Look at that mess. It's unbelievable. The lack of workmanship in this. And yes, I do have all the pencil marks off the side now. I have foamed the inside, put the walls back together. And when I did that, I filled the gaps on the end of the, on the bottom with the insulation. So that water won't spray up inside behind the plywood where you can't see it. You can see there's already rust building in here. This trailer is in here. I haven't even had it for three weeks. There's already rust building in, in the tail lights because of the way they, they run the screws in there. All right, well, that's it for now. Next installment coming up, and I am going to make a, uh, a 
video about how they scam you with their MSO, their, your application for your title, as it disappears into thin air and then they charge you $250 to get it back. I got a pretty detailed video of that coming up.